Hey guys, Fox Airsoft HD here, and today we got a gear review of the Emerson Replica Gen 3 Combat Pants. Now, let me start off by saying that these multicam combat pants don't come with the combat knee pads. You actually have to buy that separately for like $10. So, just uh, be informed about that. Now, the sizing of these combat pants are pretty much uh, they go by US waist size, so they come in 30 inch, 32 inch, 34 inch, 36 inch, and 38 inch waist size. They don't have uh, long, regular, or large inseams though. Now, putting on these pants, there's actually no button. It's actually held by a uh, hook and loop velcro, and it also has a zipper, and it's a YKK zipper, so that's pretty high quality and won't break on you. Now the belt loops are about two inch, uh, two inches thick and I believe there's like six all around. Um, these are good for duty, duty belts and riggers belts um, and they're pretty high quality stitched as well. The uh, belt loops next to the pockets actually have these little loops for hooking uh, whatever you want to it. So for example, if I hook this carabiner onto it. Um, so yeah, that's actually a pretty cool feature. So yeah. Now a really cool feature is that on the back is actually these uh, pull tabs that could actually adjust the waist size of the pants. So let's say you're maybe one size smaller than what you bought, you can actually adjust it to fit you, which is actually a really cool, uh, really cool uh, feature on it. Now the actual pockets on the pants are pretty much like your standard uh, jeans or regular pants pockets. Um, they're pretty deep as well, so you could fit a large quantity of stuff in there if you need to. But yeah, they're pretty big pockets too, so that's another cool feature. Now on the thigh area of the pants, you have these uh, small little pockets, um, held by Velcro of course. They actually have these pull tabs, so you can tighten it or untighten it. Now, what you might fit in here is, uh, I don't know, whatever you want, maybe a small tourniquet, some tools, uh, pretty much whatever you want to fit in there. On the back of the pants, you have these uh, butt pockets that are actually held by zippers as well, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, the zippers are probably going to be more easy to open since it's on your backside, and there are YKK zippers as well, so high quality. Below the back pockets, on the back of the pants, you have these uh, large pockets, um, again held by Velcro, and actually what's cool about these is that it is made to hold uh, magazines. As you can see, there's these elastic loops that you could fit around your M4 or M16 magazine and it'll actually hold it pretty securely. I don't know about other magazines though. Now, moving down where the knees are, are the little uh, knee pad inserts. Now, I'm gonna show you how to actually put the knee pads in. So, pretty much uh, what it is, it's just a flap that's held by Velcro, as you can see here. And if you un-Velcro it, and uh, fold it inwards, that's how you could put the knee pads in. Like so. So now you have a large pocket, so now you could actually put the knee pads in. Now to put the knee pads in, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is scrunch it up like this and put the bottom side or the pointy side in first like so. And then what you're gonna wanna do is scrunch up the top part 
and fold it inwards and try to get the uh, edges of the circle and put it over the black part. Um, it's going to take some time at first, but you'll get used to it. Now, one thing I like to do to make it easier is actually fold it behind and where you could feel the actual uh, foam edges and kind of like flatten them out and unwrinkle them so it actually becomes flat. And just keep pressing it in so everything unloosens and comes good. Uh, so you might want to do that a couple times to get it to, uh, to where it's pretty much perfect. And there you go. Now on the other side of the knee pads, you actually have adjustments to um, tighten the knee pads around your knees um, if you wish to do so, which is pretty much a little flap and it's in some Velcro. So that's uh, pretty cool that you get to adjust it to where the knees are actually tighter on you. So that's a cool feature. And there's also uh, another one of those on the ankles, uh, right here. So if you wish to tighten your ankles, you could do the same using the same system. So two really cool features and they're really helpful too if you need them. And lastly on the bottom, you have another uh, small little pouch for miscellaneous items you want to hold. So one thing to notice is that this, these pants have a lot of pockets. So. so I hope you enjoyed the review. This is about everything. Um, overall, the pants are pretty decent. Uh, the stitching is mediocre at best. And the actual print of the multicam is actually uh, pretty close to the cry ones. So it's actually a pretty decent uh, replica of the cry Gen 3 pants. Now, some of the cons I had with it is that some of the stitching started to fray just a little bit, not too bad. Um, and also, on the back, there's actually supposed to be some elastic um, right there, but not on these ones, so it was kind of a bummer that it was not as true to the real ones as possible. Um, and also, the knee pads didn't come with it, not really a big problem but it's just something to note if you're actually wanting them to come with it. So this is the review. You can get it off ShooterCBGear.com for about $40, uh, $50. Excellent re replica pants, and stay tuned for some other reviews on more gear. If you guys want to stay updated to everything about the channel, some gear I'm buying, etc., go check out my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash Fox Airsoft HD. I'm out.